you've got to come to Anda, look at that, like, how good is that? Now, a lot of tourists don't come here at the moment, so this is the perfect time to come before the changes and people discover this amazing gem in Boho, look at that. I'm going to show you some other beaches, but in this video I'm really going to show you where to stay when you want to stay in a paradise like this. Let me take you around. If you want seclusion or an escape from the rat race, this could be the perfect dream destination for you. Andrew's on the quieter side of Boho with a completely different vibe to the more touristy Panglao Island. And if that's something you're looking for, this is a place you need to have a look at. Welcome to Andrew. Welcome to the beautiful paradise of Anda, Mag Anda. Basing yourself in Anda also makes for a better option for exploring some of Bohol's most amazing tourist spots, including some more off the beaten track. To get the best out of Anda, you need to stay at least a couple of nights. Don't just do a day trip from Panglao. Anda has some of the most gorgeous coastline in the entire island. And I'll show you some different options of where to stay from budget to more luxurious. At the end of the video, I'll rank my top five resorts to stay at here. And just a disclaimer, these are based on the resorts that I've been to, so it's not all the accommodation options in Anda. Anda is located in the southeastern side of Boho, around two and a half hours drive from Panglao. Looking at the resorts, I'll start from the western side and then move easily across. So first up is this one. Maayong hapon, welcome to Blue Star. We have five rooms sea view and four rooms uh, garden pool. Yeah, so Wednesdays and Saturdays, if you want pizza, they have their own pizza oven here. You can try out some delicious pizzas. I ordered the Hawaiian and these are some of the kitchen staff making the pizza. For being in Andrew, it was a pretty decent pizza. This is a restaurant. At the front, they have a billiard table. The other food I tried here was pretty tasty although breakfast was a bit average. Here's a sample of the food offerings they do have here. As you can see, it's got a pretty decent selection of foods to choose from and different cuisines. Facilities at the resort include a swimming pool with a number of lounge beds surrounding it. So up here, just above where the pool is, you've got this jacuzzi, you can chill out. You can watch over the ocean this direction and the pool in the other direction. So behind me, the rooms here are the sea view and then if I Turn the camera around. Behind the pool there is the garden view slash pool view rooms. And if you want a massage overlooking the ocean, there you go, how good is that? Now this resort is built on a cliff, so to get down to the ocean, you have to go down these steep steps. It's a good workout, definitely, when you're coming back up. You can actually snorkel in here. I'll show you some footage I took. I did see some turtles. And then there's the dive shop over there. If you're into diving, they have a dive boat. So this is some of the footage I took while I was out snorkeling. I'm not a diver myself, so for more information on diving, you can check out their website. Let's look at the rooms. I stayed in room two, which is the deluxe sea view room. As you can see, it's generally an okay room with the standard features, including cable TV and minibar. It was a decent size and outside there was a balcony overlooking the ocean. Now looking into the bathroom, it's a nice size with hot and cold water shower and overall a reasonable place to stay at. Looking now at their garden rooms, the first thing I noticed was these rooms were larger in size than the ocean views that I just showed. So if you want a little bit more space in your room, these are probably the ones to go for. The amenities were the same, bathroom was larger as well. This is a view from the balcony, again not too bad of a room. These were the published rates and I'll show you the online rates in a sec. They do offer transportation to other parts of Boho. Looking at the website, you can get more information on the resort. You can also book through your other favorite third-party sites, such as Agoda. Overall, I like the place, friendly staff, decent rooms, and I'd rate it as above average. Now, I want to mention Solia Reef. At the time of making this video, it wasn't yet open, but they said they expected later this year. It's part of the Solia group of hotels, the same as in Mactan Island, Cebu, and Panglao Island. Welcome to Magic Oceans. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Next along is this dive resort. It's got a lovely pool to cool off from the heat, and this is also where you'll find some of the rooms that circle around it. After a long day, they do offer a spa on site. Here are some of the treatments that they do offer. It's a beachfront resort, although it's a rocky shoreline. This is the beachfront area. You've got some lounge chairs to enjoy the sun and the ocean. They do have a pier for boarding on their dive boats. And of course, there's a dive shop. I did hitch a ride on one of their dives, although just for snorkeling. And this is some of the footage when I was snorkeling there. And it's also pretty common to see turtles in this area. 
Let's talk about the food. Overall, it's quite good. The clientele here tends to be Westerners, so there is a good selection of Western cuisine to choose from. They did have this mini style buffet dinner the night I stayed, and it was good. Breakfast too was tasty, with a great selection to choose from, and I went for the healthier option. Anyhow, here's a copy of the menu, and it does include other cuisines, including local dishes. So they have 16 rooms in total. Five of them have ocean views, which I'll show you in a sec, but that is room one, two, and three, and 15 and 16, I can't see with my eyes. And the rest of the rooms have pool views. You can request that when you book, subject to availability. So this is the view you get. You can see a bit of the ocean through the trees there. It's not the cleanest view of the ocean, but you can see it through the, the trees there. Out front is a little balcony. So let me show you inside my room. So over here you've got the mini bar and tin coffee making facilities. There's some snacks as well. It's just a simple bed with a foam mattress. So inside the room here, it's spacious, it's clean, and it's a comfortable room. Nothing fancy though. At the front, they have a small couch, and to the back, there's a wardrobe. And this is inside the bathroom again. It's a nice, clean, spacious bathroom here. It's hot and cold water, and you've got some complimentary water here in the bathroom. Just quickly showing you now the one of the rooms by the pool. It's exactly the same inside. The only real difference is being the view you get from your balcony. Summing up the place, I liked it. Good staff, great food, and I did like the place a little bit more than Blue Star that I just showed. They also have a website for more details. You can book through third-party sites like Agoda as well, and prices are shown. Next along is Amun Inni. Welcome home. Welcome to Amun Inni. Welcome to one of Bohol's most beautiful beach coves. As you see behind me, it's picture perfect. This is one of the most stunning looking resorts on the entire island of Bohol. The mix of serenity and beauty combines for a picturesque, perfect dream stay. It's a hideaway in the Philippines you won't forget. The resort also has a beautiful infinity pool overlooking the gorgeous waters here. The restaurant serves up some great food the best I've actually tasted in Anda. The rooms are nice and comfortable and lovely views of the ocean. The bathrooms are spacious and clean. It is a dive resort, but you don't need to be a diver to enjoy this piece of paradise in Anda. Not only some of the best stuff I've experienced, this is hands down one of my favorite resorts in Anda, although it is the most expensive as well. All this makes for an unforgettable stay here. In fact, I've rated this hotel in my top 10 resorts in Bohol, which I'll put a link at the end of this video if you want to see more details on this resort. They have a website where you can read more about the resort as well as booking rooms, and you can also book them via your favorite third party site. So this one is Kim's Garden. This one has some budget friendly options. So because of its location, you will need to get transport to and from here. I've got my own scooter, but they do also have numbers of some tricycle guys here. So that's one thing to note, you'll need your own transport in this location area. It's a bumpy ride coming down there, that's for sure. The resort's restaurant is only open for breakfast, so you have to eat out. One option is this restaurant in Ander Town, around 15 minutes away. So the hangover bar is the same owner as Kim's Garden, so you can pop over here and have a bite. Hopefully you won't get a hangover though. Welcome to Hangover Bar. Then. What's the most popular drink here? We have draft beer. Okay, and then. the best seller food is these ones here. Yeah. <laughs> what would you recommend? <laughs> Chip burger. burger. Yeah, hangover the burger, the one. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Come and drink and eat in hangover rest bar. I actually like the food that I ate here, so check it out. So behind me here is the restaurant, which is just open for breakfast only. And also this is where you can only connect to the Wi-Fi in the resort. Now the resort itself is like being in a, in a forest with lots of trees, providing a very natural setting. So welcome to my room tonight. This is room two or jungle room two. As you can see, if I turn around, I got a view of the jungle here. So it's definitely nice and shady here. So that's the balcony with some native chairs set up. And down there, probably about a hundred meters is the beach front. It's just a rocky beach, but I'll show you that in a sec. So let me give you a tour of the room. Overall, it's a rustic and basic room with native furniture. So this one comes with two single beds. It is an aircon room as well. And you've got a little table here with tea and coffee facilities. And then to one side was a wardrobe. The bathroom had hot and cold water shower. The hose hanger was broken, so it was just hanging like that. So for me, I found the aircon unit here a little bit weak. It didn't kind of cool down the room as much as I wanted. I've got it on full blast here. 
So this is another garden view room, but has a double bed. And this one here is the ocean view room. They also have some birds on site. Bring your own tent for 300. Inch ones is 100 per person. Okay. And if they come without tent, they can rent out. 500 for those. So yeah, yeah. Now if you want to save some money, they've also got these, I don't know, native tents. I don't know what you call them. Very rustic if you want to do that type of accommodation. So if you want to save some money and do it a bit rough, this may be an option. You'd say they'll clean up this garden if they've got guests coming. They haven't got any guests at the moment, so that'll look a bit more tidy. But over there is a communal bathroom. Looks like something out of mash. Where they have the shower outside. And they have communal toilets here. So if you're okay with just the basics, there you go. Now let me show you the beachfront. So behind me here, the yellow kayak anyhow is free to use here. And I'm just going down to their beachfront area. So this gate takes you down to the beachfront. This is high tide, but as you see, it's not a white sandy beach. It's a bit rocky, but you can go swimming out here and go snorkeling further out. They've got a hammock here. You can feel the cool ocean breezes and there's the beautiful scenery of the ocean out there. And you can still see the remnants of Typhoon Odette. There's some damage there. That was back in 2021, December 16, 2021. The night I came back from Ander Town, there was a brownout. It was pitch black for like a couple of hours. There was no backup generator or anything. So from eight o'clock in the morning, you have a set breakfast, which you can see down here, and includes a bit of fruit and coffee. So bon appetit. So things to be aware of this place. It is rustic and you've got the jungle here, so that brings some bugs. I haven't noticed a lot, but that is something to be aware of, I think, for some people anyway. So overall, the place is okay. And when I say okay, I mean very average. It's not gonna be for everybody, it's just the bare basics. And if you're okay with that, and you like to be in a forest like this, it may suit you. For more info, they have a website, including prices, and you can also book via Airbnb and booking.com. This is another resort I really like, and I think you can see why. It's located on a gorgeous beachfront. It's got some swimming pools. So if you're actually familiar with the Park Lane in Cebu, this is their sister resort here in Bohol. This resort has a few pools, starting with this one, their beautiful infinity swimming pool overlooking that amazing beach. And this one is their main pool. The beach here, it just looks postcard perfect. With the weather like this, it's breathtaking. The rooms are modern and comfortable to stay at. Some of the rooms have various different views from their balcony. The bathroom too comes with the modern facilities, like with the rest of the room. The food is okay, but not quite as good as some of the other resorts that I stayed at. I go into more details on this resort in my top 20 resorts in Boho video. So have a look at that video at the end of watching this one. You can also have a look at their Facebook page for more details and room rates. It can also be booked through your favorite third party sites. Next up, we have a couple of resorts along this road. First up is a more boutique style place, Blue Raven Resort. Now this place does have access to the beachfront via these stairs. So this is the restaurant open from seven until nine. Now they did say with dinner, you have to pre-order an hour before you eat. Welcome at Blue Raven Resort. Uh, in Anda. In Anda, yes. What room type have I booked? Uh, you book the name of full house. It uh, capacity people is good for six. But and four then, people, but two extras. Yes, cost. yes. Okay. What facilities do you have here at the resort? We have a dining area. We have a we have a lot of gardens full of blooms, and then yeah. So you got two dogs here. Yes, we have a two dogs. Their name is uh, Swerty and Jago. And, and then very we have friendly. Oh, and then we have uh, we have a uh, sixteen kitties. 16 what? Kitties. Kitties? Yes, like... Uh, Kittens? Kitties. Meow, meow. Yeah. Around the place? Yeah, yeah, they are roaming around. So and then the cats and dogs around you. Like yes. There's a beach front, you can swim. Yes, no they sand. can. Yeah. Rocky, right? Yes, that, you can swim directly. And we have a seaside table. If you want to dinner, lunch, breakfast, a seaside table, we can offer also that. We can serve. Okay, so you can have a nice relaxing time. It's just a little resort. How many rooms in total here? How many rooms total? We have uh, four, uh, three. Three plus the house. Yes. There you go. So come and stay here. I'll show you around. And yes. Where are we now? This is the garden area. The garden area. They have, uh, this is what we call sunka. So we've, we've got some shade here from the heat. Yeah, you can and play what's this? Sunka. This is what we call sunka, sir. 
It's just rocks. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know this game. Show me how you play. Like this, you. It depends on you which one you want to spread. This one first, like this. This. This is seven rocks, and where you gonna stop? And this is your house. You have to put every time you go in. Okay. That is. It's kind of like chess, I guess. Yes, I think so. Oh, I'll learn it another day. So we have the the flowers and the fish. Oh, there's a fish pond down here. There you go. Table here, you can look over the ocean. How good is that? And it's nice and shady here as well. And you get the breezes. You did work at three. <laughs> <laughs> you did work. As a reference, she, she did work at three. Three little birds. Before, yeah. and when I filmed it. And this video I'm making is a few months later. So that's why she's working here now. There you go. She, she can't get away from me. Whichever resort I stay in Nanda, she comes and follows me. These are two of the 16 cats. Yeah. So if you like kitty cats, yeah. there we go. There's lots of cats around here. Hello, kitty. So this pathway will lead you down to the beach. The beach is just rocky. It's not white sand, so keep that in mind. Very pretty. Have a coffee down here then. If you want, you can also do day use here. Yes, you can use our day use here. At seaside table, this is 600, and at least 800, and that is 600. There you go, and you're right on the beach here. There's some people enjoying the beach down there. And with the drone, you can get a different perspective of how it looks. If you walk around the corner, you can see Bugna Sea Resort, which I'll show you in a moment. I only had a sandwich for dinner, so not really much to show in the way of food. For breakfast, I had the oatmeal, and that was okay. If you do want to check out the other food they offer, this is their menu and breakfast options. So my room is located there up the steps. Let's take a look. And at the front, they've got a living area with it looks like a cable TV, I'll check that later. And there's a kitchen behind. Now this is the kitchen area. Now bear in mind that this doesn't have cooking facilities. It's just got the, the sink and the fridge. There's no gas or anything. The kitchen also comes with tea and coffee making facilities. And this is what I like, this veranda area. You get the sea breezes coming in. It feels so cool to feel the, the cool breeze coming in. I really like that. So this kind of wraps around the front of the kitchen area here and you get the, the cool sea breezes coming in. It's very refreshing. And there's the ocean over there. Got a nice garden area as well with lots of flowers you can see. And this is the main bedroom in here. Fairly simple room, but you do have air con. And you can see the, the bed there. So let me show you around. This is the bathroom, obviously. The shower looks like it's a cold water shower only. And then the second bedroom is in here. It's a bunk setup as you can see. So for the kids or if you're having marital problems, you'll be staying in one of these beds. It also has a little wardrobe in here, but again, a fairly simple room. It does have air con there as well. So at the front of the property, they do have two bungalows and possibly they may have more in the future. They each come with a small balcony overlooking the garden, but not the greatest view though. Inside the room, it's pretty nice with smart TV, mini bar, air conditioning, and modern bathroom. This is their deluxe, which comes with the bunk beds at the back, good for four guests. Other than that, it's pretty much the same setup, and that includes a bathroom. If you're looking for a smaller place with a few animals around, I'd rate this as above average. You can book via Airbnb with the prices shown for the various types of rooms, also available on third-party sites as well. Welcome to Bugnao Sea Beach Resort. Enjoy your stay. So just a couple of hundred meters away along the beach is this one. It's a fairly new mid-range resort in Anda, and it's actually the sister resort of Anda Pearl, which I'll show you later. Bugnao Sea is a Visayan expression, which means it's cold here. So the water or the beach waters are cold in here. So if you want to get cold in the Philippines, let's have a look at this resort. So this is a gorgeous infinity swimming pool. And down there is a public beach, so expect it to be busy on the weekends or public holidays here. Its infinity pool does look impressive overlooking the beach here. It's a nice sized pool to cool off and great views of the beach in front. It's a nice beach, not perfect, and it can get a bit cluttered with these fishing boats around. There is another beach though, just around the rock formation. It's a pretty little beach cove and it's a lot quieter than the public beach. Just look how picture perfect it looks. Around the resort, there's a few cottages that can be used for day use. 
And in general, the resort is quite a nice looking place. Next to the resort's pool is the restaurant. Just to mention, on Saturday nights, they do have live music here. Hi, mom, sir. Welcome to Bugna Si Paya Restaurant. If foreigners are usually this pan fried fish fillet with potato. For foreigners? Yes, yes. And what about for Filipino? The Filipinos? Ah, okay. Oh, for Filipino, the. The best seller for pork is pork seasoning, sir. The restaurant has a nice view, obviously. You can eat outside or inside. The food here was okay. And on screen, you can see some of the dishes that I tried when I stayed here. For breakfast, I had the pancake with a couple of eggs and fruit. Looking now at the rooms, first up is the deluxe standard. This is the one upstairs, which is slightly smaller in size than the downstairs rooms. And it comes with two single beds. They come with balconies, and depending on where the location of the room is, some views may be better than others. This is the bathroom, a little bit tight, but fairly new, and overall, decent. These ones are their family rooms, with the balcony at the front. So this is one king bed and one queen bed. Family room, good for four. The wardrobes have been hangers and safe, and there was tea and coffee making facilities. And then the bathroom with hot and cold water shower, again, a little bit small. So this is my room. I'm in 102, which is a standard, and look at the view I've got. The pool and the beach. Magnificent. It came with two single beds, fairly simple room but clean and modern. It had cable TV, coffee and a kettle. And the wardrobe in the back. As mentioned previously with the other rooms, the bathroom was a little bit small but everything else was fine. And the shower had hot and cold water. And this was the balcony view. Now this is a standard deluxe with sea view, although it depends on what you interpret as a sea view as you can see from the balcony. Other than that, the room's pretty much the same as the other rooms I've shown. So, pretty decent. If you want to treat yourself here, they have their private villa that overlooks the beach, a spacious room with king bed, and plus all the other amenities that I've shown in the other rooms. The bathroom is a separate room with huge windows so everybody can see you, but they do have blinds you can pull down. Out on the balcony, they did have a jacuzzi, but it wasn't working, and they also have no idea when it will be repaired as yet. Anyhow, there's lounges to enjoy the beautiful views overlooking the ocean here. Overall, their place is pretty decent, and I'd rate it as above average. Here are some of the prices, including day use and rentals. You can also check out their website for more info and prices, and you can also book through third-party sites. So this is One Piece Beach Resort. Got a nice private cove here. Looks beautiful today with the sun out. And then you've got the rooms in the back there. It's just a more budget friendly type of place to stay. It's a very laid back place to stay in Ander. The place has some water activities, including diving, snorkeling, paddle boarding, as well as a restaurant. Family dinner menu every night. We served up at 8 o'clock. And then this table, at 8 o'clock, all family, all guests, Enjoy the same time here in whatever. Restaurant actually uses locally sourced herbs and vegetables. They also cater for vegan diets as well. Anyhow, here's the menu for your reference. I did try the vegetarian version of Adorbo, and I have to say, I like the meat version better. This is having breakfast by the ocean. What a way to start the day, huh? Here are some of the prices for the activities available, and they do have an on site dive shop. Let me show you my room. So, let me take you around the room. This is the King Sea View. This is on the first floor. Get the view of the ocean out the background there. And it's got a balcony as well. Let me take you inside. Fairly spacious in size, but just the basics. So this is my room with the king bed. Now they do have a spare pull out bed here, which can accommodate up to two extra people. I think they were saying 400 per person or 600 per person. I forgot now, but they'll tell you anyway. As you can see behind me, it's a fairly simple room, but it does come with aircon. The bathroom was also a nice size, but it was showing a bit of age. It was functional though. It came with a hot and cold water shower. I really love the view from my room. I just had to walk out in the balcony and have this in front of you. It was just an awesome view, and with a little bit of a sea breeze, just perfect. This is an okay resort for those looking for a more budget friendly place to stay with friendly laid back staff situated on a nice little spot in Anda. You can read more about the resort on their website as well as details on other room types. Rooms can be booked by third party sites including Airbnb. Welcome to Poseidon. 
beach resort here in Anda. This resort is beside One Piece Resort up on the hill. Yeah, the back of the resort or the front, depending on which way you look at it, they've got tables and chairs set up, cottages that you can rent out. Good for day use or if you're actually staying in the resort, you can use these facilities. And if you want, you can grill, have a barbecue, grill your food here. At high tide, you can jump off this cliff here. You've got two beaches, one over here. They're not amazing, but they're okay. And as you can see, the resort is in between two beaches in the rocky part in the middle. Look on a sunny day how gorgeous those colours of the waters look. So as for water sports, you can do kayaking and you can also snorkel out there. There are some corals out there. So as for activities here, above me you can see there's a basketball hoop. You can do some ping pong or some billiards or you can just hang out in the gardens here. There's a little store or snack bar on site. They also have a restaurant serving up some decent food, including breakfast. And here's the menu on the food that they have on offer. So you've got the cottages here. Out the front there's a family one and there's also a sea view one. The cottages are dotted around the place and they offer simple budget accommodation. Some of the cottages do not have their own bathroom so you've got a communal one. So this is cottage two which is the garden view one. Let's go take a look. It's the garden bungalow. So the room I had was basically just a bed, aircon, and that was it. So if you're looking for something simple like that, it may suit you. The bathroom was okay, although the water pressure was weak. Looking at some of the other rooms, this was their family room, good for six, but can hold up to 10. Simple mattresses, and this particular room also had a shared bathroom, which I'll show in a sec. Now this is the shared bathroom building for the rooms without the bathroom. Looking at the beachfront bungalow, good for two, very simple. This bungalow also had the shared bathroom in the separate building. If you're looking for some no thrills accommodation, the place is okay, although I like one piece a little bit more. Here's their day use rates, as well as different bungalow prices, which you can book through booking.com. So this is Bition Beach Resort. Now, they have cottages that you can rent here. It's a more popular place on the weekends rather than on weekdays. But if you wanna come down, spend time by the cottages here, and you've got a, a nice little beach front here. So they've got a number of cottages here and these ones are 550 for rental. But they also have places to stay overnight. I'm gonna show you those as well. Got, they've got six rooms in total. This one is the family room. So this is a family room here. You've got the main bed behind me and then a pull-out bed. This room was reasonable enough with a sofa and a couple of lounge chairs. So for extra people, they put in an extra mattress, but it's good for six. It had a table and chairs to one side. So there's no restaurant on site here, so you can have snacks and drinks? Drinks and a snack only. Okay, so and if you want to eat... Free breakfast. Free breakfast? Yeah. What, what is breakfast then? Uh, meat, uh, rice or bread. Okay, so you cook that, so it's included in the room? Yeah. The bathroom looked pretty decent with two basins. There's also barbecue areas here that you can cook up your own food. This is a room good for two people. How much is this? Two five. Two thousand five hundred. Okay, aircon. They have a pull-out mattress for an extra person. Yeah. Cold water only. The resort has two beach areas. The more popular one is the one at the front due to being a little bit nicer. You can see that better when I fly the drone. 50 entrance fee. If you need to contact them, that's their number. So on the weekends, they do get a lot of day users and they said they also have a band playing here. I only visited this place, but it looked okay. Now, I did find a TripAdvisor someone had reviewed the wrong resort with the same name and mistaken it for this one. They actually went to another Bition Beach Resort on another island in the Philippines, and they gave it a really bad review. You just have to be careful of what you read online. So if you're looking for an affordable room with ocean views, let me take you around Coral Cottages here. This place has some gorgeous ocean views. Well, at least the beach house has. Located down another one of Anders' bumpy dirt tracks. Is this small Airbnb place right on the beach? So the place has got four rooms. The two rooms upstairs, which are good for two in each room. And then you've got the family room down there. And then the beach house. The beach house has the best views. It's up, obviously at the front. You can see the ocean from the balcony there. So at the front of the property, they've got the cottage here to relax from the sun. The kitchen area, so you can cook here. What are you cooking here? This is Madeline, the caretaker. Yeah. 
Right, any yeah. questions, she'll yeah, yeah, answer yeah. them for you, look after you. So if you've got your own transport, it's about five minutes to Ander Town. There's a market there, you can buy food there. You can come and cook here. You can either do it like fire, native style. There's the wood there to, to start the fire with or keep the fire going. Or you can use more modern electricity, but it's all the pots and pans here. There's water here. If you want some barbecue food, they've got a barbecue here they can cook up as well. So there's also a fridge with freezer up the top here. Yes, come on. Oh, there's some prawns in there. I might steal some. They don't have kayaks here, but if you want to go snorkeling, they have some equipment here. You can see there. It's um probably seen better days, but anyway, they do offer that if you don't have it. Modeling doesn't work here all day. She only works office hours but Roy, the other caretaker is here all day. He actually stays on the property, so if you need anyone. So this is looking down on the property with the rooms being in those red roof buildings. So welcome to my room. This one is good for two people. It is a fan room only. This one, if you want air con, it's over in the beach house. There's downstairs, which has the family room, and there's also another room next door, good for two people. And the mattress here is a foam mattress, so nothing luxurious. It had a little table and chair with complimentary drug of water and the back door to the balcony opens with this view. Now I do have the door open here to let in the breeze from the balcony here, it's very refreshing. I don't know what it's like during other times of year when the monsoon wind changes but at the moment it is very pleasant to have the door open. So I'm just on the balcony here which has beautiful views of the ocean. It's a bit windy today so the water's a little bit choppy but the wind makes it a lot cooler I've left the door open the cool breezy. Now that is the beach house which I stayed in last time. I'll show you inside that in a sec. But that one's got air con. This one has just the fan room. We've got a nice balcony. Got a little bit of the house blocking the view, but by and far I've got a nice view of the ocean. Also new from my last visit here, the Wi-Fi is available now in the room. Before it was just over in the kitchen. This is the bathroom in here. The shower is worth noting that it's only cold water here. The bathroom was a little bit tiny, but other than that it was generally okay. Let's look at the beach house. So right in front, you've got that private beach. How good is that? So as you walk in, there's some native furniture to sit down at. And to one side is the kitchen, complete with utensils to cook and cutlery to eat with. And to one side is the bathroom. Just a very simple bathroom with the basics. With a basin to one side. Upstairs is the bedroom. Again, nothing fancy about it. Just a bed with a mosquito net. A decent sized room, but it's what's outside that you really come for. When I stayed, I didn't use the TV. And that's the million dollar view. And on the balcony, what more could you want with a view like this? This is a nice little beachfront area and you can swim and snorkel here. So to sum it up, if you just want a simple room by the beach, this may be an option for you. You can book via Airbnb and you can also get more details on the property and the rooms. They also can be contacted through Facebook. I thought it was a pretty decent place to stay at for the price. Just up the road is another small Airbnb property, Villa de Mar, which has two villas they rent out. On Google Maps, it doesn't show the property, but it's located here on the map, and this is its location in relation to Coral Cottages. When I stayed here, I stayed in the front villa, which is the small of the two, and it's good for two people. And the second villa behind is the family villa. Good for up to six people. And I'll show you inside in a moment. When I arrived, I got a welcome drink. Now this is the main house, which has a kitchenette that you can use to cook and eat. Looking inside villa one, you can see how spacious and clean it is. King bed with aircon, TV, with Netflix, and there was some tea and coffee making facilities. And it also has Wi-Fi. Overall, a nice room. They had a wardrobe and then moving into the bathroom, it came with a hot and cold water shower. A good size with modern features. So for breakfast they served me up this and they're fairly flexible on that. They asked what I wanted to eat. The owners and caretakers are really friendly and helpful if you need anything. A very laid back vibe and it makes for a great stay. Looking at Airbnb, this is their family villa which has the extra beds. Prices are shown. You can read more about the villa also on Airbnb. This is the one I stayed at with the prices. Mabuhay, welcome to Underpearl Premier Resort. Enjoy your stay. This resort is the sister hotel of Bugnasi and it's a little bit more upmarket as well. So the resort has its own little cove here. Just a beautiful little spot to swim or just to chill out at. I really like the private idyllic beach cove that they have here. They have a deck with chairs overlooking the beach and a really nice place to chill out and relax at. 
The infinity pool looks really stylish with that ocean backdrop. It's actually made up of a number of smaller pools and I like it. For kids, there's a little play area and they have a cave on site, although it's off limits. This is a restaurant. I love to sit outside in the balcony here and sip on a morning coffee while gazing out at the infinity blue of the ocean. That's what it's all about. The food here I tried it was all right. If you do want to see what they do offer, here's a copy of their menu. It more specializes in local cuisines. The breakfast here again was okay. When they do have lots of guests, they revert to a buffet style breakfast. Otherwise it's a la carte. So the best rooms in the house are these ones that have the sea view. They're the standard premier and there's also a family room. And in front of me are the standard deluxe rooms which have garden views or mountain views. Let's take a look at the rooms. It's the standard deluxe, but if you book it through a go to, they call it the deluxe triple. It has a one single bed and one queen size bed, I believe. So as you can see, it's a nice clean and modern room. And it also comes with a balcony which overlooks the garden and you get a bit of a mountain view. I'll show you that in a sec. This is the balcony here, I'll just take you out. Got a little table and chair to chill out and it's the garden area and then the mountains. Not too bad at all. So I think the rooms are pretty good, nice and comfortable. It also comes with cable TV here. So you've got the standard facilities here, tea and coffee making facilities, water, and then down here is the mini bar. And then you've got a wardrobe over here. I don't know if you've ever tried coffees here, the three-in-one coffees here, but these are super, super sweet if you're into a sugary type coffee. The bathroom itself has a hairdryer, has a fancy mirror here. We can turn the light on and off and change the, the settings of the lights. And it comes with a shower. And it's a nice modern looking room here, or bathroom at least. And just to mention, it is a hot and cold water shower. I'll just show you the mountain view room. It's just the view that's different because you're upstairs. Now the better rooms to go for are the ones with the sea views. This is the standard premier room. Inside it's fairly identical with the same bedding and features. It's just when you open the back door and you're greeted with this view. I recommend obviously if you can afford it to go for these room types. The bathroom also was modern and a good size. Really nice room. Now they also have a family room, good for four people with two king beds. Just look at the space that you have here, it's huge. The bathroom is also modern and large, perfect for a family. And the even cooler thing with this room is they have their own private outdoor jacuzzi. That's the cherry on top. It also has a balcony with those ocean views. And the Pearl is one of my top picks of resorts in Ander, and I'll get to that list at the end of the video. A beautiful spot in Ander, nice and cozy rooms, friendly staff. If they just had amazing food here, it would be nearly perfect. Anyhow, you can check out their website for more information and rates, and you can also book rooms. Like with most, you can also book through your favorite third-party sites. Next up is Casa Amahan. This is a small resort with seven rooms. Like with most of these resorts along here, they're off the main road, down a dirt road, so when it does get wet, those roads get muddy. This is coming in from the entrance. So as far as facilities, they have a restaurant and a swimming pool over there. They've also got some water sports like kayaking. So this is the open air restaurant. The food I tried here was not too bad at all. On screen are some of the dishes I did try, including the breakfast. They've got deck chairs laid out here, and then down there you've got some chairs to enjoy the beautiful views of the ocean there. It's more of a rocky shoreline here. Just a quiet place to chill and take in the serenity. As it's on a rock cliff, they do have stairs going down to the beach, but it's nothing much to get excited over. There is a small beach a few minutes away. So let me show you around the rooms. So I've got the deluxe sea view room, which I'll show in a sec, but I just wanted to show you the view you get. You're looking down over the beach here, beautiful. That's actually Flower Beach Resort next door. That's their beach, but you can access it with this beach resort as well. Now these rooms are supposed to be Mediterranean inspired cottages. Looking inside the rooms, Although nothing new, are decent enough with aircon, king bed, and good for two. Keep in mind there's no TV in this room type. Complimentary water and mini bar, and these are the views from the window. There's also a wardrobe with safe inside. Inside the bathroom, again a tad old, but overall a pretty decent place with hot and cold water shower. 
Now this is a suite room. This one is good for four people, but they also have one good for three. Anyhow, it came with cable TV, but other than that, pretty much the same facilities as the other rooms I've shown. A nice sized room. Looking at the bathroom, the same type of feel as the other room, with the shower having hot and cold water. The wardrobe to the side had a mini bar and hangers for your clothes. At the back of the resort was their family suite, a balcony out the front with seating and table, with one king bed and two singles. A spacious enough room for a family, complete with mini bar, TV and aircon. Although it comes with two bathrooms, this is the first and this is the second bathroom, which is a bit nicer of the two bathrooms. I like this resort and I would rate it as above average. You can check out the website and book through your favorite third party sites. Rates are shown. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Island View. Hope you enjoy our hospitality. See you soon. See you soon. Let me take you around this popular beach resort. Welcome to Island View Beach Resort here in And as you can see behind me, I'm on the beachfront area. It's, it's a nice beach. It's not amazing. You can see some little pebbles and the different shades of color in the water with the, the rocks out there. But visually, it looks beautiful with the ocean and then the mountains in the backdrop. The beach is set up nicely, not only to lap up the tropical sun, but also to enjoy the serenity of the place, which is one of the reasons you come to Anderfall. It's also a perfect place to get a massage. The pool looks fantastic as it sparkles in the sun. You can kick back on one of the lounge beds that's around the pool. So ditch the stress and get ready to soak up some serious serenity. So this is the area they do the yoga and also in the corner there you've got some books if you want to read something. Now for divers, they do have an on-site dive shop. You can read more on their website. There's also other water sports offered like kayaking. Now I highly recommend their restaurant, The Old Plantation. It's one of the best in Anda. Welcome to The Old Plantation. And here's our refreshing calamansi juice, which is perfect for the hot weather. You want some wines? They've got plenty of wines here to choose from, imported wines from Australia and Spain and, and where else? And New Zealand and France, there you go. So if you like a bit of wine, got a good choice here. Even if you're not staying here, I'd recommend coming here and eating. I found the food that I tried was really tasty with a good selection of food. They had some really nice Asian dishes and for sweets, they even had an apple pie. I haven't had that for such a long time. Now I couldn't find a copy of the menu from my last day here. So I had to go back to one of my previous days. So keep in mind, prices will have increased. Anyhow, you can get an idea of what dishes that they do offer. Try this place out when you're staying in Anda. Around the property, they have a cave and dragonfly pond that you can check out. Now let's look at the rooms. This is a deluxe sea view, obviously a balcony and a view of the ocean. Let's take a look inside the room. And you get a welcome drink. This deluxe room, five island view. It's a pretty decent room, nice size. There's a sitting area at the front and a few steps to go up to the bed. There's the standard mini bar, tea and coffee making facilities, large bed and also a wardrobe at the back that contains a safe. So you got free Wi-Fi here. There is no TV though, so you have to stick to your Wi-Fi type of shows. But it's a nice, comfortable room and nice and spacious. Then as we walk in the bathroom, you can just see how spacious it is with a basin to one side and then the hot and cold water shower on the other. There's also a large window looking out into the room. If you want to try one of their nicer rooms, have a look at the cabanas. These ones are designed for couples having a lot of space and comfort. It comes with a king bed in the bedroom with large windows to allow lots of natural light into the room. From the balcony, you can get a little bit of a view of the ocean, but it's just nice to sit out there with a drink. The bathrooms are spacious as well, and they have a mini bar, as well as tea and coffee making facilities with a hot and cold water shower to one side. Outside they have a courtyard complete with another shower as well, if you want to enjoy showering out with the mosquitoes. To sum it up, this is one of my favorite resorts in Andra as well, with great friendly staff, including the owner. Again, I'll show you later in the video where I rank it in my top resorts here. You can see more on the room types and other facilities on their website, and you can also check rates and make reservations. Like with all the others, also available on third-party sites, rates are shown. Let's take a look at this one, JNR. 
This is a friendly family owned beach resort that's worth taking a look at. Nice well maintained gardens. It has an open air restaurant with some beautiful views of the ocean with friendly staff to serve you. That was my welcome drink. Now let me show you some of the food I ate here. First up, I have to say I enjoyed the food here with lots of nice dishes to choose from. And I had the omelette for breakfast. Here's a copy of the menu if you want to check out what food they do offer. For a smaller resort, I was impressed by the size of the menu here with a good mix of local and international dishes. Next to the restaurant is a pool. It's only fairly small, but nice enough to cool down in. Now the resort is on a slope going down to the beach, so there are many stairs around. So anyone with mobility issues, you will need to think about that. But I do like the garden area and the views that you get of the ocean. One area they have a small massage area overlooking the beach. Like with the resorts in Ander, it's got a stunning backdrop with the mountains in the background. I think it's nice, although it's not the best beach in Ander. It's nice to walk along, as well as most importantly, it's peaceful. Looking at the rooms now, this is the first of the two oceanfront rooms, good for two with king bed, silent inverter aircon. It's nice and clean and comfortable with a mini bar and a little cabinet at the back. The bathroom also was clean, okay size with hot and cold water shower. This is walking back to the front of the room where you can walk out onto the balcony, which has a table and chair overlooking the beautiful beach. This is their beach villa, good for two people. It does have a kitchen area, but it's not in use for cooking, but you can use the sink. And they also have a fridge here. It comes with tea and coffee making facilities. It has a king bed and the room itself is a good size. It's been well maintained and most importantly, it's clean. Decent bathroom as well with the standard features including hot and cold water shower. Again, everything was clean and it was functional. On screen now is a family studio good for four people. It has one king bed and two singles, spacious with table and chair and a fridge to one side. The bathroom too was large with the same features as the other rooms I've shown. Outside you have a big balcony with the views of the ocean. This one is the ground level family apartment, good for four people. It comes with two bedrooms as you enter. On the left is the main bedroom with one king bed. At the entrance you have the living area. And now this is the second bedroom with the two single beds. There's only one bathroom in this unit, though it's pretty spacious and modern. The view from the balcony isn't quite as good as the other rooms. Overall, it's another place I like in Anda. Now I did see a review from one of the guests on TripAdvisor and I have to put my two cents in. Although it's great to have everybody having a voice online, there are times when people just shouldn't be allowed to make comments. And to be frank, this is one of them. Everything the resort owner said is correct and I would disregard this guest's review and comments. Anyhow, you can check out more on their website, including activities and room rates, which I'll quickly scroll through so you can see the relevant prices for the room types. As with most places, you can book through various third-party sites as well. And just a few minutes away is this one. Welcome to Anda White Peace Resort Wall. It's located in Baklong Barangay. So it's at the Gohoy, so you can explore more Anda. It's located on a beautiful spot with a white sandy beach. It's a very scenic spot. When you're thinking of a name for a resort, sometimes you just need to look out the window and see what's around you. And so with Ander White Beach Resort. This is your beachfront haven at Ander White Beach Resort. This is a lovely little white sandy beach. They have some water activities that you can use out in the water. It is an overcast day today, so it's not the best weather. So rooms, you've got some rooms up here. These are the beachfront rooms. And then you've got the honeymoon suite here. And then you've got some more rooms at the back. Now they also are building an extension over here. It's gonna be like, 40 rooms or something, it's gonna be huge, or well, one of the biggest ones here in Ander anyway. But it's taken forever to build. I think I came here a few years ago, they were still building it. And it's still ongoing, this construction. So one day it will open. In the morning, the waters can be so calm, making it a perfect time to go kayaking. Place is located on a hill, but it's an easy walk down to the beach. The resort also has a great infinity pool overlooking the beach. There's a restaurant on site with a billiards table. At the restaurant, you can savour the variety of flavours from the richness of Filipino dishes to delicious flavours from Europe. The restaurant caters for everybody's taste here. And here is a copy of the menu if you want more information on the dishes, including the breakfast options they have. 
So this is a deluxe beachfront, which obviously gets you this wonderful view of the ocean. I do love the views from these rooms, particularly when you've got those welcome coconut juices to enjoy it with. Inside the room, it's not too bad. It does look a tad dated with the furniture and the decor, but overall it works. Features in the room are pretty standard for a mid-range resort. It does come with cable TV, Wi-Fi, wardrobe. The bathroom is clean, although a little dated like the rest of the room but it was functional and came with a hot and cold water shower. The deluxe rooms are practically the same, just at the back of the property away from the beach. They all come with a little balcony. Inside you can see how similar they are. So it's just the location of the room that you're paying the difference for. They also have a deluxe family room, good for four people. This comes with the configuration of one queen and two single beds. All the other features are the same. It just comes with the added space with the wardrobe at the front. It has one bathroom, again pretty much the same as the other rooms, with hot and cold water shower and a basin. There's also a balcony out the front. Now the best room that they have is their honeymoon suite, right overlooking the beach. The room's got huge windows giving panoramic views of the beach. The room is a nice size, but again it's shown a bit of age, but other than that, it's a nice room. Now this is probably the best feature of the room, out the outdoor balcony, you can sit back and watch a gorgeous beach right in front of you. Top that off with a refreshing coconut juice, perfect. It comes with a nice sized bathroom. Everything I said about the other room applies here as well. I like the place, it's not perfect, but one of the better resorts in Ander. This is their website for more details, like activity and room rates, and also you can check out third party sites and prices. Just a few meters away is this one. Welcome to Three Little Birds. I hope you will enjoy staying here in our paradise in Anda. Mabuhay! We have nine rooms here and then a swimming pool that you can see behind me here. This is just a small place with a number of cottages surrounding the pool. Hi guys, this is our chef coach. Uh, he gonna do our very delicious dishes here in Three Little Birds. Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng. Yeah. Yes, that is our best seller here. I'm gonna have that one. Okay, thank you. So you've got some games and books for those rainy days. So this is the restaurant and this is the Nazi Goreng that I tried with the chicken skewers. The chicken skewers was covered in a thick peanut sauce. For dessert, I tried the fried banana. For breakfast, I had an omelette. The food I tasted was generally okay. And here's a copy of the menu with the different dishes they offer. As the place is close to and White Sands and JR, you can also eat there. So this is my room tonight, the Rainbow Lorry Cat. Inside my room. So just fairly simple native style rooms. And this is a bungalow, sir, Rainbow Lorry Cat. This is your room. And it comes with aircon. Yeah, with fan. aircon and with fan. And this one, sir, is with fan, but you can just add on to you. You can use the aircon. Yes, like that. If you want an upgrade to your room. Yeah, you just add 750 for your upgraded your room. Into a fan room, into aircon. The, room. Of the rooms is... Uh, Birds, yes. <laughs> There's some shelving in one corner for your stuff. Decent, simple room with a basic bed. Yes, yes, sir. You, we have also had a water shower. Yeah, your sink, your. You've got the toilet and then the shower at the back. Okay, so for tomorrow morning, our breakfast will be start at 7 a.m. And we have also last order of our dinner, which is 8.30 p.m. We have a Wi-Fi and just ask the Wi-Fi password in the reception and hope you enjoy staying here with us. Hi guys, welcome our bungalows. Okay, this is the family room, it's good for five bucks. Yeah, there's two story. So this is a ground level with the main bed. All bungalows have a balcony at the front. Hi guys, let's go upstairs, we look at. Uh, here's our second floor for our family bungalows. It takes three beds, like single beds. First floor and second floor, both they have earth. They also have a main house at the back, which can be booked on Airbnb, but it was occupied when I was there, so I couldn't check it out. Overall, for the price in Andra, it's not too bad of a place. It's also walking distance to a beach right next door to Andra White Sands. You can check out the prices on Three Little Birds website. They can also be booked via your favorite third party sites. As mentioned before, the house at the back can be booked on Airbnb. Hi, I am Christine Marie Fermasel. And I am James Louis Deepin. And welcome to Cabagno Seaside Resort. Enjoy your stay. Well, this is not a beachfront hotel. It is walking distance to the beach, although not one of the best beaches in Ander for sure. This resort has a place with six rooms. 
So what are your facilities here? So we have uh, pool, the pool. And you also have And we also have the restaurant, which is this our menu. Um, our best seller are Western breakfast. It comes with two eggs, um, ham or bacon, two breads, and also Filipino breakfast. It also comes with two eggs and lunganisa, tostino, and garlic rice. And about the lunch, we have the main course, which is the very popular chicken curry and chicken red thai curry. This is our best seller. So you should try that when you come here. Yeah, you should try. It's delicious. Because it's it's very delicious and it yum. It's yummy, you know. Lummy. Lummy. Lummy in Bisaya. Personally, I didn't try the curry, but I'll have to do that next time. But here is the menu with all the dishes that they do have. Then there's a bit of mix of local and international dishes. I had the snitchel, which was okay. And for breakfast, I had one of their healthier breakfasts with fruits. The pool is a fairly small one, and it's located in between the restaurant and the rooms. Each room having a small balcony out the front. Inside the room it was simple but modern. There was no TV, but you do have Wi-Fi. At the back is a cabinet with a safe. There was complimentary water and kettle and this is the view from the room. The bathroom was clean with hot and cold water shower. Overall, a reasonable place to stay at. Like with all, you can read more about it on their website and check prices, and you can also book on third-party sites as well. Now this place is really chilled out, like the caretaker isn't there all the time. Although probably on the weekend, you'll probably find someone about. Kind of raises your eyebrow how it runs. They do have this recreation area. It has a pool and gardens that overlook Quinali Beach. I came here on a horrible windy day, so the beach didn't actually quite look that good. The grounds of the place actually look half decent, and the caretaker was a really friendly person to show me around. There's a few cottages dotted around the gardens, and you can also have access to the beach here. If you do want to stay here, they do have budget-friendly rooms available, 12 in total. This one on screen is good for two people. The shower is also a bucket and pail. So just really basic rooms to stay with aircon, and I also have to mention, there is no Wi-Fi here. And that's the view you get from the balcony. Now if you have more people, this room is good for four guests. It's a slightly larger room. Again, the bathroom had the bucket and it was cold water as well. And that's looking back to the entrance. Now this one is good for six people. She did mention that it also had cable TV. There was a little table to one corner and a bathroom, much the same as the other rooms. Filipino? Cabo. Cabo. How much is yes. that use? Uh, 400 per head for swim the pool. Yeah. So just 200 for day use. Anyhow, if you do want to find out more, they do have a Facebook page with prices for the various rooms. Next up is Ander de Boracay. Deluxe room, good for four. This place offers some simple rooms. And this is the bathroom with hot and cold water shower. The room also came with a laundry area to hang your clothes. The double decker room, good for four? Good for five. Five people. At the end was a table and mirror. The room also came with aircon. Looking at the bathroom, it was just basic with hot and cold water shower. This is a family room with two double beds, aircon, and a table and chair with just the bare basics. Simple bathroom again with this one with a cold water shower. This one had a little balcony, although not much to write home about. Overlooking the pool, they have a couple of these small rooms. This one is good for two. Pretty small room with a basin outside the bathroom. It's also pretty tiny. It did come with a hot and cold water shower though. The next room, A9, also looked over the pool again. Good for two, very small room. It was fairly similar to the previous room. Due to the space, it also had the basin outside the bathroom. The bathroom, tiny as well. The place also has some cottages for day use and karaoke. So keep in mind this place can get noisy, particularly on the weekends and public holidays. It's on a great location though, right on the main beach in Anda. These are the prices for the various room types. You can also check them out on Facebook, also available on third party sites. So behind me here is Old Castle, right on the main public beach here in Anda. Facilities include a billiards table, beach bar and restaurant. It's a nice, quiet, laid back place. You can also be a walking just to drink and eat here. The restaurant actually opens up the beach and you can walk right out on the main beach. At low tide, the water can recede quite a bit. The beach itself is beautiful and wide and it's the longest in the area. And I have to mention, it's one of the cleanest public beaches I've seen in the Philippines. The food I tried was a bit of a mixed bag, some okay and some ordinary. 
been walking distance to town, there are a number of other places you can eat at if you wish. So basically you've got a few options. They've also got this restaurant, the Coco Loco, which also has a coconut burger. They have breakfast here as well. Good morning everyone, I am Gerald, the manager of Kinali Beach Bar, Beach Bar and welcome to Anda, the Kinali Beach Bar. It's open from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. at night. You can have breakfast. Oh, uh, we can you can breakfast, lunch and dinner at in every Friday and Saturday we have our acoustic live band here at the Kinali. And what's your best seller here for breakfast? Uh, we have the beef, beef tapas. Beef tapas yeah. It's a popular breakfast dish. Yeah, yeah. So you also have a Facebook page if you want to follow. Yeah, just follow uh, Kinali Beach Bar. There you go, check it out. I'll put a link to that one so you can follow it if you want to see what's the latest going on here. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Back at Old Castle, breakfast is served from 8am. I had the continental breakfast, which you can see on screen. It was okay, but it's definitely nice to sit out on the beach for breakfast like that. So this is my room. It's a double deluxe with balcony, which I'll show you in a sec. This one actually comes with a third mattress, or well, second mattress really, and that's an extra 600 if you've got a third person staying. But it's good for two people, as you can see in this bed. If you're happy with a fairly simple room with the basic amenities, it's a fairly decent option. The room had cable TV, the bathroom was a little on the small side, but it did come with a hot and cold water shower, complimentary water, coffee and mini bar. This is my balcony that overlooks the beach. If I turn around, you can see that. And over there, if you want to do some diving, you've got the dive shop. And if I turn around, the jacuzzi, if you want to chill out in front of the beach here, be nice with a couple of beers. Overall, it looks okay. It's nothing fancy for sure, but it looks like it's a comfortable enough room to stay. This is the double deluxe with just the sea view from the window. The room is a little bit smaller than the other, but it's much the same features and a small bathroom. This is another CV with a queen bed. It's a smaller room, but like with the previous one, same features as well as the bathroom having a hot and cold water shower. Upstairs, it looks like a castle with the battlements and you also get a bit of a view from the ocean from here. Up here is a standard room, Again, a very simple type of room with wardrobe and a bathroom with hot and cold water shower. Overall, an average place to stay if you want to be in a good location right in town. Check out their website for more information. They are also on third party sites like Agoda. So now my top five resorts with honorable mentions to Magic Oceans Dive Resort and JNR. Coming in at number five is Ander White Beach Resort. Number four is Island View Resort. Number three, Ander Pearl. Number two, Park Lane. And coming in at number one is the beautiful Amul Ini Resort. Now if you want to check out my other top resorts in Boho, which includes some of these, I highly recommend you watching this video on screen now. It will give you a rundown on the best places to stay in Boho, period. And if you need some ideas on what to see and do, I've made a top 10 list of the best of Boho and there'll be some places that you've never seen before. So I'll see you in one of those videos.